publisher's note and author's preface of beacon lights of history volume one the old pagan civilizations this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org recording by k hand beacon lights of history volume one the old pagan civilizations by john lord publisher's note in preparing a new edition of dr lord's great work the beacon lights of history it has been necessary to make some rearrangement of lectures and volumes dr lord began with his volume on classic antiquity and not until he had completed five volumes did he return to the remoter times of old pagan civilizations reaching back to assyria and egypt and the jewish heroes and prophets these issued he took up again the line of great men and movements and brought it down to modern days the old pagan civilizations of course stretch thousands of years before the hebrews and the volume so entitled would naturally be the first then follows the volume on jewish heroes and prophets ending with saint paul in the christian era after this volume which in any position dealing with the unique race of the jews must stand by itself we return to the brilliant picture of the pagan centuries in ancient achievements and imperial antiquity the latter coming down to the fall of rome in the fourth century a d which ends the era of antiquity and begins the middle ages new york september fifteenth nineteen o two author's preface it has been my object in these lectures to give the substance of accepted knowledge pertaining to the leading events and characters of history and in treating such a variety of subjects extending over a period of more than six thousand years each of which might fill a volume i have sought to present what is true rather than what is new although most of these lectures have been delivered in some form during the last forty years in most of the cities and in many of the literary institutions of this country i have carefully revised them within the last few years in order to avail myself of the latest light shed on the topics and times of which they treat the revived and widespread attention given to the study of the bible under the stimulus of recent oriental travels and investigations not only as a volume of religious guidance but as an authentic record of most interesting and important events has encouraged me to include a series of lectures on some of the remarkable men identified with jewish history of course i have not aimed at an exhaustive criticism in these biblical studies since the topics cannot be exhausted even by the most learned scholars but i have sought to interest intelligent christians by a continuous narrative interweaving with it the latest accessible knowledge bearing on the main subjects if i have persisted in adhering to the truths that have been generally accepted for nearly two thousand years i have not disregarded the light which has been recently shed on important points by the great critics of the progressive schools i have not aimed to be exhaustive or to give minute criticism on comparatively unimportant points but the passions and interests which have agitated nations the ideas which great men have declared and the institutions which have grown out of them have not i trust been uncandidly described nor deductions from them illogically made inasmuch as the interest in the development of those great ideas and movements which we call civilization centers in no slight degree in the men who are identified with them i have endeavored to give a faithful picture of their lives in connection with the eras and institutions which they represent whether they were philosophers ecclesiastics or men of action and that we may not lose sight of the precious boons which illustrious benefactors have been instrumental in bestowing upon mankind it has been my chief object to present their services whatever may have been their defects since it is for services that most great men are ultimately judged especially kings and rulers these services certainly constitute the gist of history and it is these which i have aspired to show john lord end of publisher's note and author's preface